Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Now that we've taken a look at the upstairs uh, worlds, I'm going to get one more up here I think and I'm probably going to head back downstairs and actually have a look at some older worlds since we still have yet to complete some in the first area. Apparently I did two in world, Dry World, did I? It was Snowman's Land I wanted to do another one in. Hang on, let me exit which actually puts me at a better place to actually go back to the previous worlds, but still. I want to go back to Snowman's Land because I only did one star there. It's not going to be too long anyway till we get enough stars to go to the next area. The next Bowser area. Okay. Let's just go through there. And what's next? Chill with the bully. So, as you might expect, it's going to have a bully in it. But it's a little bit of a different bully, which is over this way. You can see it there. So, we want to go up this path here. We want to fight this thing. It's pretty much just a regular bully, just on an ice physics platform with ice underneath it. Also, that ice down, that water down there, it works the same as lava. So, even as you step on it, you're going to be flying out of it because of the cold, I guess. It doesn't set you on fire, though, so... There's no smoke coming out of you, which is good. But anyway... Now that we've done that, I guess I could try having a look at what's next in this level. In the deep freeze, that's actually a fairly good one. So there's this ice block over here that we've seen. Which is a problem if the cat falls in. And we haven't actually seen which way to go. So there's a lot of different paths to see through here, but you can't actually know which way to actually go. What you actually need to do is backflip up there and then just drop in here. here we go. Just like that. Not too difficult. There's a lot of easy stars to get in this game actually, which is surprising. So let's head back downstairs. And I'm not sure which star, like which levels I should actually have a look at. Let's actually look at using this thing here. Looks like Wolf's Fortress only has a few stars left, and then the other two still have plenty left to go. So let's finish up uh, Womp's Fortress then, since that's going to take not that much time. Fall into the, onto the caged island. So, to get this star in the cage, we need to climb up this tree. No, not joking. And when we do, an owl's gonna pop out. Who's there? Who? Wake me up. It's still daylight, I should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? Press B. Uh, press and hold B to grab on. Release B to let go. I'll take you wherever you want to go, as long as my wings hold out. Watch my shadow and grab on. So yeah, we can use this owl to get up, but before you grab onto it, make sure you're standing still because whenever you let go, the momentum you had when you grabbed on, while moving forward, will continue and you'll get flung at a speed to where you weren't actually wanting to go. Now I actually want to grab onto this owl, but it's going in a weird motion. Where is it going? Hang on. Mr. Owl, I want... I want... Gonna grab you like that, there we go. Less movement that time, so I can probably just be careful. Be very careful. And drop. There we go. Just like that, we have another star. Here we go. Let's 
Also, I've already mentioned that once you have the 100 coin star, it shows up on the menu when you pause. But you can also see it next to your score here. Anyway, star number 6, blast away the stone wall. Or we'll blast away the wall. I always remember it as, it as the stone wall, so. Anyway, let's just go up here and backflip. And now, let's go to the cannon. Hence the blast. Whenever there's a blast involved, it usually has a cannon involved as well. So, we want to actually shoot at the very edge of that up there. Which actually broke it. That's not actually what we need to do. But it's basically what we need to do. So what we really need to do is actually aim at the other side over there and break that open and we can see there's a star inside and we just need to go back up there and get it which shouldn't be too difficult since it's just there you can also shoot to it if you want to get it quickly unless you want to be safe and just go up this way goodbye and this is the last time we'll be seeing Womp's Fortress oh don't fall off please I want to go down the slide there we go Womp's Fortress is complete. We still need a few more stars though, so let's go to another level that we haven't completed yet. And I think I know which one I want to do. Let's go to S Cool Cool Mountain. Because we have like four out of the eight stars. Is it eight? Or is it... No, it's seven stars, because you, there's the six regular stars and then the 100 coin star. Anyway, star number four, uh, Frosty Slide for eight red coins. And because we were collecting eight red coins, we also probably want to get the 100 coins at the same time. So let's see what we can do about that. Hang on. There we go. And we're going to go down the slide to get more coins. Just going to go past you. Don't even have to talk to you if you go around the edge. And we don't want to get the 100 coin on the slide, otherwise it's going to spawn on the slide, which is going to be absolute nightmares. I don't even know if the star sticks around. I think it does stick around if you still go back onto the slide later on, but it's not worth it. Oh, grab all those coins, please. Oh, that was not enough. I wanted more than that. Anyway. But so far, we're about to have 60 coins already. Going to slow down here. Grab all those. Very good. We already have 60 coins, which is a pretty good starting point. So let's head out, head out here. And let's go collect some more coins. Well, there's that one there. Also, there's another baby penguin up there, but it's not the one that you need, so it doesn't work if you try to use it. We also need to go collect the red coins, since that's the main objective, not the 100 coins. So let's go very carefully up to this one over here, since it's right by the edge. And there's ice physics, where you're going to stop moving for a bit and it's going to slide for a, a bit longer. Anyway, let's grab this red coin there. And if you want to head back up to the top of the mountain, stand right on the edge of this bridge here. And it's a warp point back to the top, which you can also warp back if you want to. Warning, cold, cold crevice below. Cold, cold crevice, like cool, cool mountain. Okay, game. Anyway, let's go down this regular slide to try and get some more coins along the way. Okay, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. And now, if we can be a very precise, not like that at all. Well, okay then. Let's grab these coins. I'll get back to what I was trying to explain in a minute, probably. Another red coin over here. I think there's a box of coins, maybe? Or is this a 1-up? This might be a 1-up. I could be very disappointed in two seconds. I'm disappointed. Especially because it's one that's running away. Anyway, we have 30 lives now. Not that we need any of them. Literally none of them. Uh, let me get you for some more coins since you dropped three. Oh, careful, 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 careful. That's an edge there. There's cannons around this level. We haven't activated them yet. But we, will, we will need to act have at least one of them activated. Another coin just off the edge there. Now we need eight more coins. Let's see what we can do about that. And actually, there's a few places where we can get quite a few. 
By that I mean there's like one place I can think of to get more by like 15 coins in one spot though. And then there's also still some red coins around. Okay, let me get past you. I'm amazed I didn't take any hits there. Let's read the sign quickly. Warning, cold, cold crevice below. Oh wow. Good to know. Anyway, that's number seven. We're almost done. Just need one more. So, we could go down here and get this uh, flower thing here. Also just going to show that you can fall into the snow and then be fine. Not have to worry about fall damage. Okay, we need three more coins. Only one more red coin to get, which is only two coins. So let's head back to the top of the mountain. And now... I don't really want to go this way, but I'm going to go this way. Because the red coin is down this way. Oh my goodness, careful. Careful not to fall off that edge there, because if you do, you will slide down to your death. There's another one-up box here. So let's grab that, which is going to run away from you. And here's the last red coin. Which spawns over there. Across the wrecked bridge over here. So... We, we could probably get there by long jumping, but it's fairly difficult to do that. So instead, let's go down here and go back to the top of the mountain because we still need to get the 100 coins. So, let's just do that warp here, please. Careful not to fall off the edge. And now, let's actually try to do the thing I was trying to do with my slide. How am I going to slow down? Speed up, speed up, slow down, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, oh my goodness. Ah, oh, sliding is fun. Now you're thinking of slides. If we jump off here, onto this platform, there's a blue switch, a blue coin switch, which gives us, I believe, 15 coins, or is it... It might just be 10. Looks like it's 10. Because there's these two blue coins that spawn up here. But there we go, we have the 100 coin star. And also, the red coin star. Here we go. You obviously need, you definitely need the coins from the, the ice slide to get the 100 coins in that level. Star number five, snowman's lost his head. So, we've seen the snowman down the, the, the mountain before. I don't think we've actually gone to talk to him though. So let's, let's actually do that if I can do that. Oh, you can actually just start sliding down on a slight slope if you press the ZL button. That's interesting. I didn't really know that. So if you get like, start walking on a slide, you can actually just re-enable the slide again. So anyway, we need to go over to this, uh, this head here. Not very happy little head. Oh no. Talk about out-of-body experiences, my body has melted away. Have you run into any headhunters lately? I could sure use a new body. Burr, my face might freeze like this. So we need to find him a new body. Which shouldn't be too hard since there's plenty of snow around. Oh my goodness, let me get past you please. Because we need to head back up to the top of the mountain again. So let's get past you, and then past you, easy peasy. Okay, back up to the top of the mountain. Oh, come on. Uh, just up there. And now, instead of going down the slide, we want to head up this way. Because over here is a little platform that looks similar to the snowman's head. And there's a snowball on top. I need a good head on my shoulders. Do you know of anybody in need of a good body? Please, I'll follow you if you do. And he starts rolling down the hill, so we need to go quickly because we need to go in front of him. We need to slide down all the way to the snowman's body. And I mean, you definitely have to slide all the way. You can't just jump off the edge or even stop walking. You need to slide all the way to here, basically. And then the snowball should follow all the way, and, oh, I missed. It will follow basically wherever you go, so you actually need to get as close to the snowman's head as possible, otherwise it will miss. Anyway, let's just go through here, ow, unless I die. 
That'd be bad. Very bad. Okay. Grab that. And do this. Oh my goodness, nearly walked off the edge. It's okay. It's fairly kind to you on that. Okay. Let's try this again. It respawns if you need to do it again. Oh my goodness, I am going too slow. It's gonna miss. It's gonna miss because I'm not in front of it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Follow me. And now try to slide as close as possible to the snowman. Like that, that works very well. Just hide behind him. And there we go. Oh, still taking damage from that. Need to be careful. Perfect, what a great new body. Here, this is a present for you. It's sure to warm you up. Why did you need... Then... Okay. Let's just grab this star here. here we go. There we go, and there's one more star left in this level, so let's go get it. Wall kicks will work. So, for the star, we're actually going to want to go all the way down to the bottom of the mountain to start off. That's pretty much all we need to do, is head down to the bottom of the mountain. That's not all we have to do for the star, but that's the only area of the mountain we need to be at. So, there's this little uh, thing over here. This little platform, and if we stand on top of it, it's going to slowly go up to where we got that one red coin. But also, along the way is the bob -omb. So I need to be very careful when getting on. Oh no, this is not good at all. Let me get up quickly so I can turn around and slide down if I can. Don't, don't fall off. Don't jump on the tree again. Okay, let's read the sign. Danger, strong gusts, but the wind makes a comfy ride. So that's there to tell you that you can actually get back to the mainland without the platform that's about to go past me. Anyway, this bob -omb will prepare the cannon for us. And if I'm very careful, I can jump off of here, which will let me use the gust of wind to get across. Which is not all, like, in that entire section, but it does, it is there for most of it. Anyway, the cannon stays open for now, so that's pretty good. And now, let's angle myself with that, like, aim myself up that tree. Probably want the shadow to be on the tree, just a little bit, and then go. There we go, grab the tree. There's another cannon to get across if you want to, but you shouldn't want to, because we will need to go down this way. There are some more of these flower enemies down here. You can also punch them instead of jumping on top of them, so if you don't want to spin crazily everywhere, you can do that. Also, I believe a ground pound works pretty similarly. Let's read the sign. It's just telling you how to long jump, so we already know how to do that, so let's just long jump over that, that death pit. Remember that tricky walk jump? Wall kick jump? It's a technique you will have to master in order to reach high places. Use it to, f uh, to jump from wall to wall. Tilt the left stick in the direction you want to bounce to gain more momentum. Practice makes perfect. So yeah, if you press, if you wall jump and then while you're holding the opposite direction, you can actually go further with your jump. Now, uh, I think... We want to do a triple jump and then wall jump here. Oh, if I can actually jump properly. Oh no. Luckily, if you take damage down here, there is a heart to heal you. There we go. And now, we just need to walk across this little bridge here, which I can crawl across, I guess. Or just line myself up by crawling and then run across. Careful not to slide off. Anyway, the star's right here, let's grab it. Here we go. And that's 100% of Cool Cool Mountain. And also 50 stars. Which means... You've recovered 50 power stars, now you can open the star door on the third floor. Bowser's there, you know. Oh, you found all of the cap switches, haven't you? Red, green, and blue, the caps you get from the colored blocks are really helpful. Hurry along now. The third floor is just ahead. So there we go. 
Cool, cool, mounting complete. Charlotte Roger Bay is considered the third level, but I consider the snowman, no, the cool, cool mountain in the third level. Just because of the difficulty level, I guess. Although, yeah, die, die, no, what's it called? Jolly Roger Bay is not that difficult, so. But there is a star that you need to actually wait a bit before you can actually get, so. And we'll be looking at that at some point in the near future. But for now, let's go through the star door. And this is not quite what I, we should be expecting, but you should actually recognize this clock. At least a little bit. Anyway, there's another toad in the corner here to talk to. There's something strange about that clock. As you jump inside, watch the position of the big hand. Oh, look what I found. Here, Mario, catch. And we get another free star from a toad. This is the third and final star you will get from a toad in the game. So there we go. Now, let's go up this way. Because up here is another star door. To open the door that leads to the endless stairs, you need 70 stars. Bwahaha. But it opens anyway. But as it was said, this is the endless stairs. They never seem to end, do they? But if we head back... It's like we never went up any at all. So we can't go up that way yet. We're gonna need some more stars first. Starting off... Toad mentioned the clock. So, let's jump up. And... Depending on where the... The minute or second hand is going, it's going really fast, so it doesn't really matter which thing it is. Depending on where that is, it will give you a different effect in the level. So, I guess I'm just going to go in when it's on 3 to start off. Or anywhere else after 12. Kind of works about the same. Course 14, Tick Tock Clock. This is a level with a lot of moving objects. And I mean a lot of moving objects. It's also very tall. I can see two stars from here though. And also, if you fall too much, there's a pit that you're gonna fall onto. So, let's just go across here. And try to climb up. What are we doing? Roll into the cage. Okay, I think I can do that. Some of these blocks are gonna rotate, which is gonna push you off. So you need to be careful about that. I believe these are coins. I'm gonna just grab... Open that, I guess, and grab those. Okay. This is one of the more difficult levels. And is very notorious for people dying in it. So let's be extra careful. So I mentioned there are some extra effects that happen when you enter the clock at different times. And I'll be explaining which ones you should probably use. And I'm probably going to try and give them like actual examples of what happens when you enter at different times. So if you go in at just whenever you want, it's just this regular speed and all that. It's just, it's just normal, so. But, whenever you go in at 6, everything is absolutely crazy. I'm pretty sure, at least. I think if you go in around 3, it's slow. 6 is crazy, 9 is fast, and 12 is kind of special. We're going to get to that last, though. Let's go in at 6. I think I missed it, but that's okay. The Pit and the Pendulums. So, I believe now... I might have messed it up, possibly. Usually when you go into 6, some things are going at different times compared to everything else. So it all is, like, out of sync, slightly.
the in the pendulums. Also, these guys, we saw, we saw them in a previous level, in wet, dry world, but if they get underneath you, they'll flip you up in the air and you'll just be thrown around. Oh my goodness. This does not look like fun to time this on six. Oh, 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 oh. go. Okay. This is not a great one to have been on six. Also, while we're here, there's some blue coins that we can activate, which spawn... No, back, 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 back across where... The, the platform, the main platform was, but I fell off, and I guess I will never know about those anymore. That's okay, I will have to show them at some point for the blue coins. No, the 100 coin star. That's what I'm trying to say. Also, these things here will push you off the edge if you get in front of them when they launch. Oh dear, there we go. Just gonna go past that, and then keep going. This is such a crazy level. If I don't fall off at all, that'll be crazy. Like, to my death, that is. Although, if I don't have enough coins, I will die anyway. Okay. Okay. Breathing. I was wondering why, why my throat was sore after the first two episodes and the third episode. But it's really just because I'm panicking a lot in this game. I mean, I don't consider it that hard. But I guess, like, as a casual game, it's fairly difficult. Well, especially if you're doing silly things like entering the TikTok clock on six. So this platform here is where the blue coins normally spawn in. There's quite a lot of them that will spawn there as well, so... Anyway, this is the start we need to get. We just need to pass through these... ...pendulums, I guess. And also this block that's going up and down. And then, once we make it through... ...we just grab the star. Here we go! As already said, 9 is just fast version of 3. Which I probably will just do it anyway. Since I'm going to need it at some point. Let's go. Get a hand. Sorry, everything's going fast now. It's all in sync, somewhat. But it's all a lot faster, which makes it a little bit difficult. Just a little bit. Oh, careful not to get bumped off out of course. So you need to go quickly, so you don't fall off. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a lot easier to manage than six, though. I have to say. Anyway, while we're here, we want to wait for that the small hand, I guess, to get over here. And then, when it does, we're going to want to jump on, 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 on top of it, and then have it take us around to the star once we actually get there we have to jump though and it's going quickly so we might no we might mess it up no I fell also don't go in on 12 for this star or a specific other star which I'll get to at some point I can't believe I'm going in again like this that's okay I feel like I'm pretty good at video games, so I can do whatever I want. Give myself a little extra challenge as well. Okay, let's go. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Those things push these things pushing off is not fun at all. Okay. Just need to get up quickly. Oh, the hand just went by. It seems pretty difficult to get here before the hand. On nine. Just gonna avoid this fire spitter, spewer thing, I guess. Okay, there we go. We also need to be careful of the buzzer on the other side. I don't know if that's what they're called. Like sparklers? No. Okay, go. And got it. And now. I think I can do 12, I think. There's one that I don't want to do on 12 though, so let's just go in. You can do them out of order as well if you want to get the timing, if you get the wrong timing and but still want to get a star. So let's go with 12. And Stomp on the Thwomp is not able to be done. Not very well at least, without, with this 12. But I'm still going to show what 12 is anyway. On 12. Everything is frozen in place. 
which is why you can't get across. Because you need to be on the long hand to do it. Well, isn't that a shame? So we're at least going to go in on three for this one. But now that we know what 12 does, that's nice to know, I guess. Stomp on the thwomp. The one that I'd really recommend having it stopped on, on so on 12, is the red coins, because the platforms that you need to use to actually get them are, are rotating all the time. You definitely can't do it on 6, though. So yeah, that's basically all you need to know about TikTok Clock. And yeah, we could actually get through most of it fairly quickly. This is actually what I... Like, this is a difficult level, but if you know what you're doing, it can be one of the easiest ones as well, so... Sometimes it's not about skill, it's about knowledge. And that's why I say a lot about this game. Okay, let's get up here. And now I want to actually get on top of one of these platforms. Oh, don't fall like that! Please grab the ledge! Nope, I'm dead. But that's okay. And that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.